Hello everyone, my name is Teresa Miller and I'm a Principal Technologist with the Technology Advocacy Group at Cohesity. Today we're going to take a look at SharePoint Online, Backup and Recovery with Cohesity. First thing you'll see here is that I'm in the Cohesity dashboard where regardless of what you're choosing to back up, including SharePoint Online, you get some great metrics and statistics to give you a view and some insights into what's going on in your environment. For example, you can see the overall health of your environment, storage capacity. Other things that I like to use here are the storage reduction. So I know exactly how much I'm gaining from my deduplication and compression, which by the way, does apply to your SharePoint data as well. With that, let's go ahead here and take a look at a protection job for SharePoint. So if I take a look here, I have a SharePoint demo. I'm going to go ahead and choose edit. Now in order for this to actually function and work, you'll see I did have to register a source. So I registered my Office 365 tenant with the Cohesity appliance, which does mean if you are using other elements of Office 365, such as Exchange Online, or even OneDrive, we can protect that data as well. But back to SharePoint Online, we have our registered source. You can see here that I have four sites protected. I'm going to go ahead and expand that so you can get a closer look. I have four sites that I'm backing up the document library on. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down here a little bit. Cancel that. And the other things we're going to see here are that we do have a policy that is protecting this data. It's backing up every four hours and retention is every week. You can completely customize and create your own policies for whatever SLAs you have over and above what you get with Office 365 SharePoint Online. So you can take this out as far as you want keep this data for four months, a year, six years, retain it as long as you need. From there, you'll be able to see that we do have some additional settings, such as end date for the protection job, indexing, SLAs, etc. I'm going to go ahead and cancel. So that's the protection job. Now I can see that this protection job has been running and everything is successful. We're meeting our SLAs, the jobs are completing, which then takes me to the recovery. Let's take a look at how we would do a recovery. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to delete some documents over in my finance site for SharePoint Online. Now, I think ordinarily might, if you're doing that instantaneous delete, you'd probably go to your recycle bin first, but imagine it actually could be months even a year before you realize that the document you needed for the finance team is missing. So moving forward based upon that, right? we have no other way to get this data back because we're exceeding the SLAs offered in SharePoint Online. We're going to need to head over to the Cohesity to do that restore. So here I'm in Recoveries and I'm going to go ahead and click that plus sign and choose Office 365. I'm going to go ahead and click SharePoint Online and I'm going to choose Browse Site and Recover. Now I'm going to go ahead and just put a star in. We do accept the wildcard and in my case I want to click on Finance. Now if I head over to the document section what you're going to see is I do get a glimpse into what those files were that were there. Now I know that the finance team is going to need one of these. I'm not sure which one, so I'm going to recover all four and have my subject matter expert from that team go ahead and review once they're recovered. I click Save, I click Continue, and I choose Start Recovery. Now, while that's recovering, which shouldn't take too long, I'm going to go ahead and head back over to my SharePoint site where those files are missing from. We're going to give this maybe a few more seconds and you can see 
they appeared. I didn't even refresh, they automatically came in and that recovery is complete. So you can see that with Cohesity, we can very easily get your documentation back for SharePoint Online, regardless of the situation with the SLAs in place that you need, that you get to choose and be successful with.